President Trump announced the United States would be withdrawing from the Paris Climate Agreement. California Governor Jerry Brown was so upset about this, he predicted that God, in effect, would visit the 12 plagues upon the earth in response. Watch. This is a crazy decision. It's against the facts. It's against science. It's against reality itself. People are going to die. Uh, habitat will be destroyed. Seas will rise. Insects will spread. Well, now Governor Brown says that California will join the Paris deal, even if the federal government won't. While visiting China for a clean energy conference, Brown signed an agreement with the Chinese government in which the two, one a state, one a country, agreed to collaborate in reducing emissions. The Chinese laughed, but Brown didn't hear it. Is California its own nation now? Ethan Behrman is a radio show host in Los Angeles for the famous KGO, and he joins us tonight. So, Ethan, I grew up in California when it was a state. It was one of 50 states. And now, I guess, Governor Brown has gone rogue, declared himself emperor, and you're a country negotiating international treaties. What happened? Well, it's not an international treaty, so we're not violating uh, the Constitution, Article 1, uh, Section 10, Clause 1. As you know, this is a non-binding agreement where we're going to share the technology. California has already spent billions of dollars using some of my money as a taxpayer to create these industries, build them, and grow them into a large businesses. I mean, look at Tesla right now. Why not leverage that with one of the largest and fastest growing economies in the world, China. So let's share that. Let's get a return on our investment here in California. Because California doesn't have the right to do that because it's a state. You're, you're basically creating your own foreign policy when that right is constitutionally reserved for the federal government. And that used to be obvious, but California is so high on its own fumes, macrobiotic fumes, that they've like lost sight of that somehow. Yeah, no, but, but again, this is a non-binding agreement. Cities and, and counties and states have already been doing this for decades now. There's nothing new about this. If he had signed something that said it was a binding agreement, you and I would actually be in total agreement that that would be violating the Constitution. But here, okay. why not? Why not get a return? Why not lead in this country since D.C. doesn't want to lead? Why not lead in the 21st and 22nd century energy sources instead of what the president is doing, which is falling back to 16th century energy sources, focused on coal. Would you ever declare ownership of Camp Pendleton and say declare war on Mexico? <laughs> I mean, like what other unilateral decisions? Is, I mean, just to prepare us for the future. I mean, you guys have decided we're not following federal law. We're entering into <laughs> agreements, even non-binding ones with other nations. So like the next step would be war, right? Your own uniforms? No, although, remember, governors are in charge of National Guards. That's a separate topic. But no, obviously, we're not going to take Camp Pendleton and attack Mexico. No, again, I mean, Tucker, really, you and I both want our economy to Mexico, grow, sorry. right? I mean, okay. why, why would we not want to grow our economy? Why not create more jobs in a sector that already has eight times as many jobs as the coal sector does? Anyway, let's move forward. Let's grow. Let's take advantage. Why not get some of that money back from the Chinese that they're holding of ours? This is a great way to do it. It's sharing technology. It's opening markets. And it's building our economy here in California, which benefits well, the rest I of the United States. I guess, I mean, this is hilarious. Again. On so many levels, of course, a lot of that technology, the green technology that you refer to, is subsidized by federal dollars. You, as Obama said, you didn't build that. The rest of us did. So you're taking an investment from the other 49 states and making money on it and then claiming moral credit for it and then wagging your finger at the rest of the country and saying we're better than you. I guess we're used to that, but it's annoying. You can see why the rest of the country would be annoyed by that, right? Well, yes. I mean, and, and the rest of the country is annoyed by a lot of things California does because we lead. We're not sitting back and waiting for things to happen. By the uh -huh. way, California sends more money to D.C. and gets less back than any other state. You know that fact to be true, Tucker. And on top of it all, the, the federal government coffers, if California companies are going to reap the benefits of the Chinese market, D.C. gets some of that money, too. So it's a win-win all the way around. Yeah. You also lead the country in poverty You have more than any other state. You lead the country in middle-class people fleeing to Idaho. You, you definitely lead in that category in Scottsdale and Portland, Oregon. So really quickly, if you're upset about climate change and you believe it's being driven by CO2 emissions, you think carbon dioxide is a poison like arsenic, why would you sign an agreement with the world's largest polluter, China, that allows them to continue to pollute for another generation? How does that help with global warming? Well, that 
The, 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 the agreement signed today doesn't say what you just said, Tucker. It's actually, it's a sharing of technologies. It's a sharing of information. It's an opening of markets to one another. And I'm, ensuring I'm, I'm, I'm that referring, I'm again, referring to not, the, hold on, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I was imprecise. I'm referring to the Paris Agreement that Governor Brown is scolding oh, okay. Trump for pulling out of, which allows the Chinese to continue increasing their CO2 emissions for other generations. So that doesn't really make sense why you'd want to give the world's biggest polluter a pass or political cover as Brown just did. Why would he do that? Is he, does he have some weird agenda we don't know about? Well, actually, that's why today's move is, is an improvement over the Paris Climate Agreement. I agree with you. There were problems in the Paris Climate Agreement. They weren't strong enough. It didn't push hard enough on China. It didn't push hard enough on India. I actually agree with you on that portion of it. So that's why today is so important, because remember, in the Bay Area in particular, there was a study just a couple of years ago. One third of all of the air pollution being measured in the Bay Area was actually coming from China. So anything that we right. can do to help them, to help lead them down the path of cleaner energy benefits Californians, benefits the rest of the United States. I think you're right about that, but I, sucking up to them and giving them a propaganda coup is probably not the same as getting them to stop polluting, but whatever. Ethan, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you, and good luck in your state. Thank you, country.